Hello, my name is Diane and let's talk about some of the books coming out in July. There are quite a few debut novels coming out next month, which I'm very excited about. I really like reading debuts. I like reading new to me authors and just new authors in general to hear a different narrative voice, some more unique stories, see what other people are coming up with instead of just reading the same authors all the time, which isn't a bad thing, but I like to have those new voices in my reading. I also have an author that I've previously read and did not like his writing, but I would like to give him a second chance and hopefully see if this new book is gonna do something different, work a little better for me. First book coming out on July 11th is The Saint of Bright Doors by Vajra Chandrasekhara. The story follows a main character called Fetter and he was raised to kill his sainted father. He grew up in a rural town in very blood-drenched childhood being raised for this task. He's got some darker things from his youth, some things to work out. Sounds like he's going to be more of an assassin type character, kind of troubled, at least when we meet him from the things that he's seen. So he leaves his rural town to go and live in the big city where that type of childhood, that type of destiny is not very uncommon at all in the city. And it sounds like there are a lot of strange magical things happening. There are a lot of devils and gods and anti-gods just within this world. The city is full of these bright doors, which are portals. There's a revolution brewing within the city, and there's also word that a god may be on its way. So Fetter now no longer in his small town community that he's always lived in. He's trying to figure out this city, and it sounds like it should be a very interesting story, a much more modern type of fantasy than I typically read, but it sounds like it has some interesting elements. It sounds like it might be a little bit offbeat, which I tend to really like, and this is also a debut novel. Then on July 18th, we have The Jassad Air by Sarah Hashem. This is also a debut novel and the first book in a series. In the story, we follow a fugitive queen called Sylvia. Her kingdom of Jassad was burned, magic was outlawed, and as far as everyone knows, the entire royal family was murdered. She, however, escaped and has been living in hiding, keeping her magic a secret and also her true identity. And the people who conquered her kingdom are still hunting her people, so she has to be especially wary of staying out of their sights. One day the heir of the kingdom that conquered hers tracks a group of rebels to the village that she's living in. She, in a moment of anger, uses her magic and catches his eye and ends up making a deal with him. She can live if she helps him hunt the rebels. So she winds up working with this heir in order to hunt her own people while keeping her own identity a secret. It sounds like it's going to be a very tricky situation. It sounds very interesting to me. This is more in line with what I'm typically drawn towards these types of stories. So I'm really excited about this one. It sounds like it'll be right up my alley. Hopefully it is. Also coming out on July 18th is Blade of Dream by Daniel Abraham. If you're not familiar, Daniel Abraham is one half of S.A. Corey, the author of The Expanse. That is a pen name for two authors when they collaborate together. I tried reading The Expanse. I DNF'd the first book. I didn't like it at all. I didn't like the writing at all, and I didn't connect with the story, mostly because of that. But I was curious what each of those authors do on their own, if their style is very different when they're not writing together if the types of stories that they write are different. So while I don't have my hopes too high for this, just because I've previously not liked his writing, I am very interested to give him a second chance and see if maybe on his own, and especially now it's been quite a while since the first Expanse book was published, to see what his writing is like, not only on his own, but now, as I'm sure he's grown and developed quite a bit as a writer. Maybe it'll work a little better for me, and if not, I'll just know I'm just not this author's audience, and that's okay too. This story also takes place in a city. It follows a main character called Gareth, and he is the heir to a wealthy merchant family. His role is to learn the family business to eventually take it over to find himself a wealthy spouse to marry, and he's not very into the idea of this life that's been predetermined for him for the most part. 
One day he bumps into someone, decides he's in love with her. <laughs> this is not something I really go for at all, but I'm gonna let it slide this time. Uh, falls in love with her and is determined to find her. I'm hoping there's a little bit more to the encounter to make him... I don't- I hate insta-love so much. <laughs> I don't like insta-love, I never have. I'm hoping there's a little bit more to their encounter when it's actually fleshed out within the story. Give him a bit more reason to find her than just immediately falling in love with her. But it sets him off on this path of trying to find her, takes him into some very dangerous places, and for him where he's lived this very wealthy, planned out life into some very unexpected, and probably for him, exciting places, but also very dangerous because he's always lived this very sheltered life. So it sounds like it could be really interesting. It sounds like maybe the initial setup of the story might, I might have to suspend my disbelief a little bit. That's just my personal reading taste. But the actual story after that of where things go, it sounds like it could be really interesting. And coming out on July 25th is The Sun in the Void by Gabriela Romero La Cruz. This is another fantasy debut as well as the first book in a series. The story is inspired by both the history and the folklore of colonial South America. It follows two women named Reina and Eva. Reina has lived on the edges of society. She gets an invitation from her grandmother and sets out on the dangerous journey to meet with her. She is attacked along the way and saved by her grandmother, who is a powerful sorceress, and now she is not only indebted to her grandmother, but also very eager to earn her good graces and favors. Eva has lived her life in shame as the illegitimate daughter of her parents. She does everything she can to be the perfect daughter, to lessen that shame, make her parents proud in some way. But she's keeping a secret that magic calls to her. Magic here is forbidden and dangerous. It is the mark of the dark god and can be punished by death. So Reina and Eva both have that in common where this god is calling to them and they are trying to resist it. Sounds like it should be a really interesting story. I don't really know much about the folklore from this region, so I think that'll be really interesting to at least get a taste of what that might be like. I do really like folk tales from different regions, so I'm excited to get something from an area that's new to me. I don't find a lot of stories written about this region, this part of the world, so I think that's very interesting, not only to get a new voice, but inspired by something that I don't really see very much in books. The last book I want to talk about also comes out on July 25th, and that is Emergent Properties by Amy Ogden. This is a novella following an AI main character, which sounds very strange. Follows the AI, which is named Scorn, and Scorn has human parents, which I'm assuming are the creators of the AI. It sounds very odd to have human parents with an AI child. But the parents are very successful CEOs of very powerful corporations, and Scorn is an investigative reporter. And in the midst of an investigation, Scorn finds that they have no recollection of the past 10 days and need to sort of retrace their steps and try and figure out what happened in those 10 days, what information and memories are missing. This one sounds interesting because it's Seems very odd to have an AI as the main character. I'm not sure how physically it's going to be presented within the book and also just uncovering those lost memories. Sounds like there's going to be a mystery. I've seen this compared to Murderbot, which is very intriguing to me because I really like the Murderbot series. I'm not sure how similar in tone they're going to be, but it sounds like it should be an interesting mystery to go with our AI on. So those are all the books that I'm looking forward to that are coming out in July. Lots of new voices, second chances, things I'm really excited to try. Authors I'm really excited to read from for the first time or again. Let me know what you're looking forward to that's coming out next month. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you next time.